five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. T plus 40 seconds, we've got a beautiful view of Falcon 9 successfully lifting right, off the is nominal. from pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center, carrying our stack of Starlink satellites to orbit. And we are throttling down the vehicle, uh, the engines in preparation for max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. This is the largest structural Super load sound. that the vehicle sees on ascent, so slowing down the vehicle helps us pass through the short period. Max Q. And there's that call out that we've passed through mass, Max Q. Now, in about a minute, we'll have three events happening. That'll be main engine cutoff, or what we call MECO, stage separation, and SES 1, which is second engine start 1. Now, MECO is where we shut down all nine of those M1D engines on the first stage to slow the vehicle down in preparation for stage separation. And that's where the first stage separates from the second stage. First stage will start making its way. Is chilling. First stage will start making its way back to Earth for landing, while second stage continues on its journey with the third event, which is SES one, or second engine start one. And that's where we light up the MVAC engine, and it propels the second stage along with these Starlink satellites to orbit. We've just got some awesome views on the screen. Such a beautiful morning. We're just about 15 seconds away from those three events, Miko, stage separation, and SES-1. And Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And the uh, ignition and throttle up. And there you just saw Miko and stage separation on your left hand screen. On your right hand screen is the second stage. Waiting on fairing deploy coming up here shortly. Fairing separation confirmed. And there you could see the fairing halves have been deployed and you could see them falling back to earth. And with that stage separation, that confirms the eighth successful flight for this Falcon 9 booster on ascent. So very exciting. Um, and as a reminder, we will be attempting to recover the fairing halves today with our recovery ships, Miss Tree and Miss Chief. Now, as stage two heads towards its targeted drop-off orbit, stage one will execute two burns in order to make its way back to Earth. And that first burn is called the entry burn. That's where three of the nine M1D engines will reignite. And this helps, of signal, Bermuda. this helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters into the upper parts of the Earth's atmosphere. The second and final burn for the first stage is the landing burn. Each of the M1D engines has 190,000 pounds of thrust, which is just enough to slow down the vehicle rapidly to touch down for landing, as the landing burn is just a single engine burn. And again, this is the vehicle's eighth flight, so it is our life leader. It has completed a successful ascent and stage separation, so let's see if we can 
land it for the eighth time, which will be a first for Falcon 9. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. You heard that call out that both vehicles are nominal. Just a little over a minute away from that entry burn start on the first stage. And what you see on your screen is a, a view looking forward on the left hand screen. Now we've changed to the looking aft on first stage. And on your right hand screen is a view of that MVAC engine on second stage. That second stage engine, that MVAC engine, has a thrust of 220,500. 220,500 pounds of thrust in a vacuum. It's a pretty powerful engine there. And we're just about 20 seconds or so away from that entry burn on the first stage. You can see those grid fins are deployed, helping to steer the vehicle. And we do use nitrogen gas burst uh, for attitude control. Stage one FTS is saved. Stage one, entry burn, start up. There's that call out and visual of the entry burn on the first stage on your left hand screen. So it lasts about 20 seconds long. Stage one, entry burn, shut down. And that concludes the entry burn on first stage. And as a reminder, at our recovery site in the Atlantic Ocean, ground level winds are in the forecast today. These winds are potentially stronger than what Falcon 9 has experienced on. Nominal trajectories. That was just a call out that everything is nominal. Uh, these winds are potentially stronger than what Falcon 9 has experienced on previous flights. Therefore, today's mission will be what we call an envelope expansion on our first stage landing wind performance, meaning we're going to test the wind limits of our vehicle upon landing. So let's see if we can stick this landing today. Again, it also will be the eighth landing if we do land this vehicle. And we're just about 30 seconds away from that landing burn start on the first stage. And what you're looking at on your screen is a nice view of the second stage. Still looking nominal. Stage one, landing burn, start up. There's that call out. Landing burn has started on first stage. See if we could Terminal stick guidance. this landing. There's a view of the drone ship on your left hand screen. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Looks like we lost that live view on the first stage. We'll wait for confirmation. And there you can see on your screen. We have landed the Falcon 9 for the eighth time. This is our life leader. What an amazing morning. That is an awesome view. And we're just waiting for Seco 1 on second stage. And Seco. And there's that call out for Seco 1. Waiting for confirmation of good orbit. Nominal insertion. And there's that call out for good orbit on second stage. What an exciting morning. We've landed that first stage for the eighth time. And now that second stage is going to coast. A signal to Finland. Second stage is now going to coast in this orbit for the next 35 minutes or so. And while that happens, take a look at this. Uh, the animation will have an animation showcasing where we are in the coast phase. So we, we will. See you back here at T plus 45 minutes for that second stage relay.
Welcome back to the webcast for Starlink. We had an on-time liftoff this morning at 8.02 a.m. Eastern Time, followed by the completion of the first eighth flight and recovery for this booster, which is a first for Falcon 9, and despite those stronger winds. Today marks our 65th landing of Falcon 9 and 72nd successful recovery of a first stage. We're now just waiting for the relight of our second stage, or SES-2, coming up here in a few seconds. It'll be a short one second burn. Just waiting for that call out. Again, it's just a one second burn, so it's very quick, but it does go a long way for the second stage. Nominal orbit insertion. And there we heard that call out for good nominal insertion. Again, we just had SES-2 and SECO-2, uh, just a quick burn of that second uh, stage engine. We have another 15 minute coast phase before we deploy our next batch of satellites into orbit. And during this time, the spacecraft will start to spin along its central axis, giving the Starlink satellites the momentum they need to space themselves out over time after they deploy. While this happens, sit back and enjoy the space jams. We'll see you back here at T plus one hour and four minutes. We've got the sun beaming into our camera view there. Payload deploy confirmed. What you are seeing live are those Starlink satellites in space drifting away from our second stage, which confirms deployment. Shortly, they will deploy their solar array, and over the next few days and weeks, they will distance themselves from each other and use their onboard ion thrusters to make their way to their operational orbit. Beautiful live view. And that brings our webcast to a close. Thank you to the range and the FAA for supporting today's mission. And thanks to all of our viewers, as well as all of those in the US, Canada, and the UK who ordered Starlink under our public beta program. If you're interested in being a part of our beta program, head over to starlink.com and sign up. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.